youth inclusion in governance. You know, during the last election, I was the only youth in that race. Forget about what the speculation was. By calculation or by global um, definition of youth, once you are going to the age of 50, you are no longer a youth. Yeah. I was the only person below that age. In the press, so even those persons that were shouting obedient youth, obedient was not the youth. So when we look at the youth, but again, you know, biblically people can say you are still a youth even when you are 60 years or so. But yes, I was the youngest in that race. And what I was trying to drive at is that youth need to be included. What is needed to drive our country to the, to the next destination is what the youth carries. The youth of this nation is tired of being used and being dumped. The youth of this country is tired of not being included in the political calculation and narration of this country. So if you look at the appointment coming up now, you see, I can tell you, 85 to 90% of appointments are youths. And it is so laudable, it's so encourageable, I love it, and that's what we fought for. If that is what we can achieve, believe me, I can tell you that I am the president of this country. By seeing that youths, it's not about me, it's about the Nigerian youth. We are the ones that carry the technical knowledge to solve our problems. We are the ones that have the strength to deliver our country. When Nigeria gained its independence, those who fought for Nigeria did so when they were young, when they were in their youthful age. The man that moved the motion for independence was 19 years. You know, we had head of state in those days who were 32 years ago. One, he was a bachelor when he became head of state. He got married as head of state. So we are beginning to see that happening now with the appointment. So I am so satisfied with what. It's not about me, even if at the end of the day I'm not appointed. But seeing that land chunk of youth is being appointed, so the kind of appointment we see these days. If an old person is appointed, appointed, you might feel ashamed because you'll be working among young people. So we love what has happened. I true vision. We see the spread. It's not. We see people from the north, people from the south being appointed. So it's just a speculation. And again, let me tell you something. No matter who you are, when you when you gain a position, you must work with people you trust. Trust is very important in politics. I'm telling you, trust, competence is key. So let us allow the president to work. Let us give him room to express himself. What we must be focused at is to have a country that is our desire. Let's allow him. So for us and our party, for myself, what we have done is, you can see we have never gone to court. Because even if we lose that in the election, what is most important is Nigeria should win. The process was not smooth, was not fair. Yes. So no matter who had won, there is no perfect situation anywhere in the world. What every candidate who had contested in the last election should do now is to come together and see how we can build our country better. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's a lot of suffering. We have over 18 million people out of school. We have over 133 million people below, living below poverty. So we should stop all this um, nagging. Let us take Nigeria at the focal point, survival of our country. And that is what we stand for. Again, I want to thank the Media House for this great celebration. And I believe as time goes on, we begin to um, relate and talk about national issues. How we can, everybody must not be the president at the same time. A time we, our time will come. I've done my own bid. Will I still contest? Will I not? We don't know. But I will believe what we are after is to build a better country. And the media is important in doing so. Media education, ensuring that the country, the people of Nigeria know what is their right, what to do and how to do. So we, we must continue to engage with the media. And I encourage my fellow politicians, my fellow um, statesmen in Nigeria to also start building good relationship with media. Sometimes it pains us to see media persons sometimes um, not being carried along. And I know we have a government this time. I don't want to speak for them, but I believe with what they are doing, I believe the media should be included in their plan.